Hello, in this tutorial we'll be looking at two different things and those things are alert boxes and confirmation boxes and those are two different ways of um, communicating a message to the user um, in a pop-up message and um, also being able to get the user to confirm that they've sent a message. So the first type of message that we'll look at is the alert message and basically this is the code, it's quite small. So it's just alert and then in brackets and quotation marks you can type in a string of text there um, and then end that with a semicolon on that line. So alert messages can be really annoying so you should only use them when they're absolutely necessary and they can be used for example to alert the user and tell the user that they haven't completed a form properly but they should never be used multiple times on a site otherwise they just get annoying. Confirmation boxes are a little bit different. A confirmation give, a box gives two different options and those options are OK and Cancel. So from line 13 to line 19 we have some code here and on the line 13 we have a new variable um, which is just called R and that is equal to this here. So confirm brings up a confirmation box and this is the text that will be displayed in the confirmation box which just says press a button and then we have an if statement. If R is equal to true then X is equal to you pressed OK. Else X is equal to you pressed cancel. And then on line 19 we have document.write x and that will basically just um, display this message which is you pressed OK or this message which is you pressed cancel depending on whether the user pressed OK or cancel when the confirmation box came up. So let's have a look at the alert box first and run that in our browser and that just comes up saying I am an alert box. That's the message that we put in the alert box and it does nothing else. Okay. Now again you could use that um, an alert box when the user hasn't completed a form properly you can just provide an, uh, an alert box that says you need to fill out part of this form still and they can go back and complete the form without leaving the page. Confirmation box if we run that it looks similar but it's got the two options OK or Cancel. If I press OK, it will then say here you pressed OK as a paragraph on the page because it's using this if else statement here to figure out what I pressed. Okay, so that's how to use alert boxes and confirmation boxes. Um, only use them when you really need to use them because there are other methods of communicating um, to the user which are less irritate, irritating and um, more useful. Okay, thanks for watching.